and welcome to our lesson on corresponding angles. In a previous lesson, we covered alternate and interior angles. Corresponding angles appear in an F shape. So angle D is corresponding with angle F. And angles that are corresponding are equal. So angle A is also corresponding with angle H. Because you can see a backwards F. Also, angle E is corresponding with angle C, and angle B is corresponding and equal with angle G. So corresponding angles are P in an F shape, and they are equal. We can use this information to calculate the value of angle A, because it is corresponding with a 58 degree angle. So angle A will equal 58 degrees because it is corresponding with this angle here. And we can work out angle B because it is on a straight line with angle A. So A and B will equal 180 degrees. So angle B will be equal to 180 to the 58, which is 122 degrees. Do you want to try and work out angle E, C and D using corresponding angles and any other angle properties that you know? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. Okay, so angle C and the 134 degree angle are vertically opposite, so they will be equal. So C will be 134 degrees. Angle C and angle D are corresponding, which means they are also equal, so this will be 134 degrees. And angle E and C lie along a straight line, so angle E will be 180 degrees minus 134, which is 46 degrees. Okay, let's try some more questions. So do you want to try and work out angle F and angle G? Using corresponding angles, you can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. Okay, we know angle 35 and angle F are vertically opposite, so they'll be equal, so F will be 35 degrees. And we know angle F is corresponding with angle G, so they will also be equal, G will be 35 degrees. Again, do you want to try and work out angle I, J and H? by pausing the video and resuming it when you're ready. Okay, we can work out angle H because it is corresponding with the 54 degrees. So angle H will be 54, corresponding angles are equal. We can work out angle J because it is corresponding with the 75 degree angle. So this will be 75 degrees. And we can work out angle I because it lies along the straight line with the 75 degrees. So that will be 105 degrees. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.